We're gonna drop my little jig down. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah! Get in the boat. <laughs> yeah! That's quality right there, dude. Look at this thing, dude. That, that's how thick that little hole's holding. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, Jacked Up Fishing. Well, I'm not in salt water anymore. I'm in the fresh water. I'm with my boy Terry. I'm sure you've seen him on Mike D's channel, Jetty Rocks. If you haven't, go check out that channel. This guy's on point. He has this freshwater stuff dialed in. So he called me, said, hey, I'm on the specs. They're biting really good. And I told you all a while back I was gonna come out here. Well, I'm here now, and hopefully we can get on them. He's got his Action Craft Flats boat. We got some crappie sticks. He's grabbing a few cervezas, and now we're on our way. Wish us luck. Here we go. So we take a short couple mile ride from my boy Terry's house through the St. John's River and it is beautiful. The lily pad's laying around and it's just a very relaxing setting. Oh boy, we're about to put it on them. So we take a little side creek off the main river and Terry's explaining all the history back in this area and he's a fourth generation fisherman on the St. John's so it's pretty cool. We're out here and the rods we're using are these 12 foot Shakespeare panfish pole. It's pretty much a badass cane pole. But it's nasty. Fish are here. Let me see if I can drop down for y'all. I've already caught two. So watch, here we go. One hand with a GoPro. The other hand, watch this little jig going down right here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 that was a slab too, dude. You see that? <laughs> oh, they're hitting it. They're hitting it. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, they freaking hit it. Yeah, there. Oh, dude, he's got some guff, dude. For a little fish, right? Oh, yeah. They pound it. Look at this thing, man. He ate it, swallowed it down to his gullet. In the bucket. It was too funny. I kept getting called squirrel by Terry because I was in the trees a lot. Is it been out or something? This cane pulling takes some getting used to. Of course, Terry walks right up next to me and catches one. Just showing off now. Oh, slab. That's a good one. Yeah. That is a fat one, dude. You pulled him out of there, dude. We're going to drop my little jig down. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Get in the boat. <laughs> yeah. That's quality right there, dude. Look at this thing, dude. That, that's how thick that little hole's holding. All right, just unhooked them. Got another nice one. I think we're up to what, 10 or 12, Terry? 10 or 12. Nice. Limit's 25 per person, I think. Yes. I'm not a freshwater guy, but yeah, Terry confirmed it. All right. Ooh. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you how, real time, how we catch these fish. I got my boy Terry right here. I'll try. <laughs> here we go, single drop. As soon as it hits the bottom, boom, it's on. That always happens when you do the videos. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Dang. That's nice. So we're probably up to about 15, 20 now. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. That's all it is right there. As fast as you want to pull them in. You caught one, Anderson. Oh, big fish again, dude. Good one. Oh. These motherfuckers are fighting chance. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one got me snagged up on some logs down there, but I eventually worked at it. Eight pound test and got him out of there. Terry. Oh. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. I got him. <laughs> See that? He was all up on that, that log, dude. You gotta give him a fighting chance, man. Fighting that, chance. That's right. <laughs> I won. You won. In the box. Terry's just pulled in a big boy. Good lord. <laughs> Good fish. Good fish. Oh, golly, it's a crocky. It's a crocky. That's a big one there. Are you kidding me? That's the bite was so hot, we were just tearing them <laughs> up like, one after another. Him. Couldn't just get out of there. drop down oh, without getting one on. It was unreal. Oh, ho. oh! Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. That thing's. Look at that. Now we're size 13. That's a fat back right there, dude. Slap the blue it. on, oh, son. Right, my boy. Oh. oh what, I thought you went to pink. Look at that. Oh. In the bucket. All right. Well, how long have we been here, Terry? Hour and 10 minutes. An hour and 10 minutes. And we got a ton of fish. I don't even know how many. Probably 40 fish. Yep. <laughs> I got my trolling motor on high right now. Terry motor. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to the house, fillet these things up, some of them up, and uh, I think we're going to fry them up. So I'll see you back at the house. All right, guys, I'm at the fillet table. I already filleted the fish, had it recorded, and for just erased the footage. So I don't have the footage of me filleting fish. It's just like any other fish, you just fillet them. But there was 35 to 40 of them, so there was a bunch. It's a bummer I lost that footage, but uh, oh well. While I got its time now, I wanna show you exactly what we we're using, the rods we we're using, and uh, some of the baits and uh, jigs we were using. Pretty much, like I said earlier, it's like a telescoping cane pole. So this particular rod is called a crappy stalker. It's 12 foot extended all the way out 12 foot, but it, it, it uh, collapses down to like three foot. And there it is, there's the total thing right there, all collapsed up. Yep, and there's the model right there, if you can see that. 12 foot, it's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty fun fishery, actually. I'm not much of a freshwater guy personally, but when somebody's dialed in, like my boy Terry, he makes it so fun, and uh, it's something I could take the kids and do. That'd be pretty fun as well. So here it is. This is all, this is in a nutshell right here. It's all one, about a four foot section here, um, and it stores down in there. It has a little cap, and all it does is it pulls out, and then at the end there's a little eye hook, a little eyelet right here, as you can see. That's what you tie your line to. You just pull it out, make sure it's locked all the way out each time. And there it is. All the way out. This bad boy is long, too. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. That thing is out there. You can reach out and touch somebody with that. You can choke up on it if you want it to be a little shorter. But that's it. And I'm going to show you how I rig it up. So you're going to put it back in there, except for the tip. Pull the tip out, and what I have here 
is some Berkeley Trilene, regular monofilament, eight to 15 pound test is what we're using. And you wanna get about six to eight feet total. So six to eight feet is what you're gonna need. Tie it onto the end. And it's, like I said, it's just a, 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 a cane pole pretty much. So I'm just tying my hook just like a normal, or tie it like I tie a hook on this side. Yep. Nothing, nothing special, nothing special. Tying the hook. Now I just get a little jig head. So out there we're using little octopus jigs. And um, you can use any kind of jig head. These are the little ones as, as comparison you can see. I'm going to put it on here. And that's just in, in the palm of my hand. That's just so you can see. I have all kinds of colored jigs that we use. They usually like this little yellow one right here with a curly tail. That usually works pretty good. You're going to tie your hook on just like a normal. You don't need a loop knot or nothing like that. <laughs> These fish aren't like that. You just tie it on like you do a hook. Cinch it down and put your jig on. It's pretty, pretty easy, just like that. And you're gonna thread your jig on. Some people, when the bite gets real hot, they'll tip it with a little bit of super glue right there and then push it over that barb. That way it sticks on there because these fish, like I said, they hit. And that's pretty much it. You're just gonna pull it out. And let it rip you dump it down when you feel it hit the bottom you're feeling it hit the bottom you just lift up and then you just give it a little jig It'd be cool if i caught something in the salt water right that's pretty much it now though what's cool about this rod like i said is it even rigged up like i said it even rigged up it has these little clips on here like this and you just take it and wrap it around these little clips and that's pretty much it just like that you put your cap on and this bad boy is ready to rock that's it nice and easy it stores nice and this is back when we get in the lily pads. From what Terry tells me, during the season, these fish, they get in the lily pads and they go up there to spawn and then they move out a little bit deeper. But right now we caught them right in between where they're just firing off. Buddy, as soon as you hit the bottom, it was on. Hit the bottom, you didn't have to jig really. It was on the way down there getting it sometimes. I think we ended up like 38 fish. If we threw back 10 or 15 fish, all in about an hour. Which so yeah, when they get, get in there like that, it's pretty much on. As soon as you get drop it down, they're on the hook. Just getting them out of the lily pads, in between the trees, all that good stuff, that's, that's the hard part. So right now, I'm gonna go inside, take you inside where my wife's cooking some up. She's frying some fish up. We also did some of the bodies. I wanted to try the tail and stuff like that. I've heard is pretty good. So we'll give it a shot. I'm just using cheap Louisiana uh, breading from Dollar General. It's a dollar something a bag pretty good stuff it has a little spice to it so all right here we go see you in the kitchen so we dry all the fish off before we start breading it just put some paper towels down make sure it's all nice and dry make sure the bones aren't in there and just uh, make sure everything's clean before we put it in the breading mm -hmm. since the bodies are ready to go we're gonna start with them we're gonna dump the Louisiana in a gallon size baggie put the bodies in and shake it up So I've preheated the oil. It's almost up to temperature right now. And we're getting ready to start dumping these in. So I've never cooked up the bodies and tails before. So this is our first time doing it. We're just kind of playing a bite. Pulling these bodies. And then it's time to start breading up the regular fish.
Yeah. I like this particular batter because not a lot of batter is on the fish. You get more of the fish taste than the batter. So most of it falls off in the oil, as you can see, but there is some on there for flavor, but I get a good taste of the fish. All right, the fish is done. We're just pulling it and putting it on the paper towel, let it drain a little bit, and then it's time to plate it up. That one's not a good leg. Here it is. We made a fried fish sandwich. I put a body on there so I could try it as well. All right, here we are. I got the fried crappie sandwich or spec as they call them here in Florida. Got me a nice Heineken. I'm using this Boar's Head Chipotle Gourmets. It's pretty good stuff. I just drizzled it on there. I also fried up some tails. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna sit down and eat this. I never tried these tails before. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's nice and crunchy. It's like a tater chip. Not bad. Let me try some of this fish. I know it's good. I've had it before, so. That's good. Mmm. Well, I'm going to finish eating this. I'll see you here in a little bit. Well, I hope you all liked that video. I had a blast going over there with Terry and the St. John's and busting them fish. They also ate well. Them fish eat good, so that's a win-win. I'm going to have Terry over here. We're going to do a little bit of sheep's head fishing. Hopefully this week, this wind is blowing right now. Also, the shrimp are running hard, no kill. So I'm sure you'll see a good video of that. I'm supposed to do that this week as well. Other than that, I got a new website. I'm just finalizing right now. Got the new hats, the new logo, and uh, I'll put them for sale on there as well. So uh, watch out for that. I'll make an announcement on the community page. I'll also put it on Instagram, Facebook. Other than that, I appreciate everybody who subscribed. We're up to past 3,500. I can't believe it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. And that's it, man. I'll see you guys on the next video. Jack up out.